He shall be the leader of the entire Muslim Ummah. The Prophet ﷺ said that the whole Ummah shall be controlled by one person from my progeny. And we also know that he shall enjoy the greatest Khilafah ever known to the Muslims. Better than the Umayyads, better than the Abbasids, better than the Ottomans, better than all of the other Khalifas that we've had. The Prophet ﷺ said that there will be come a time when a ma the Mahdi will come, he shall give money to everybody and not fear poverty, not even count it. And he said the fruits shall grow and the crops shall produce and everybody shall live in security and peace. This is after the Mahdi spreads justice, after the injustice. We also know that the Mahdi shall rule for seven years. The Prophet ﷺ said in a hadith in Abu Dawood that he shall rule for seven years. But then something will happen. Then something will happen. And that is Dajjal will come. Dajjal will come when the Mahdi is alive. The Mahdi will be alive and in charge of the affairs of the Ummah. And he shall battle the forces of Dajjal. Fully knowing that they'll never defeat them. Because the Prophet ﷺ said, Isa ibn Maryam is the one who will kill Dajjal. The time will come when the Mahdi, he didn't say the word Mahdi, he said a leader amongst you, and in this case it is the Mahdi, will be leading you in Damascus, in Damascus. And he will be fighting basically the forces of Dajjal, and he will stand up to lead the Fajr prayer next to the white minaret, the white minaret. The scholars say this is now the Umawi Masjid. So he shall be leading the Muslims in, in, in Damascus, in Damascus. And the call for Fajr shall be given. When they stand up to pray, the Prophet said, when the Iqama is given, before the Mahdi says, Allahu Akbar, Isa ibn Maryam will come down in front of them. So the Mahdi will be leading the Muslims. And before he starts the prayer, the Fajr prayer, Isa ibn Maryam will come down. As they're watching, they see in the skies that Isa ibn Maryam is coming down and he shall be on the wings of two angels. And as he comes down, the Mahdi will say, this is your prayer to lead. Lead the prayer for us. So the Mahdi will ask Isa ibn Maryam to lead the Fajr prayer. The Prophet said in Sahih Muslim, he said, Isa ibn Maryam will say, no. It was called for you. The Iqamah was given for you. So you lead the prayer. This is a hadith as a sign of respect to this Ummah. Isa ibn Maryam will pray behind one of the descendants of the Prophet ﷺ. He shall pray behind the Mahdi as a sign of respect. This is the last mention of the Mahdi. We don't know anything more about him. The last reference that we find in the hadith literature is the coming of Isa ibn Maryam. As soon as Isa ibn Maryam comes, all of the future ahadith talk about Isa and the Jal and the Muslims. No mention is made of the Mahdi, which means that the Mahdi shall basically make the earth suitable for Isa ibn Maryam to come down. And when he comes down, then Isa ibn Maryam will take charge. What will happen to the Mahdi? Allahu A'lam. Will he live? Will he die? Will he become lieutenant? Nobody knows. All we know is that with the coming of Isa ibn Maryam, no mention is given of the Mahdi. We do not know how many more years he will live. All we know, seven years he shall rule. At the end of those seven years, that is when the Dajjal will come and Isa ibn Maryam will come and the Mahdi will be alive at that time. After that, we have no mention of the Mahdi. So, the Mahdi, as we said, is the link between the minor and the major signs. So we conclude this by saying, indeed the Mahdi is a part of our tradition. We believe in him, we believe he's a human being, but he's a pious man and he shall unite the Ummah and he shall battle the forces of evil and he shall cause the whole earth to become a place of justice and he shall prepare the lands for the coming of Isa ibn Maryam and when the, com when the coming of Isa ibn Maryam, the major signs of the Day of Judgment will start and the Day of Judgment will literally be around the corner. May Allah Azza wa Jal save us from living at the times of Dajjal and may Allah Azza wa Jal grant us Iman and Tawfiq and Ikhlas wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala muhammadin wa alihi